with nextlevelguitar.com and today we're going to talk about reverb. What kind of reverb? Digital reverb. Uh, we've gone through uh, analog reverb and digital reverb. I'm going to kind of explain the differences. Uh, definitely for my style, I like playing the surf. So uh, the original uh, reverb that was used back in the day was the actual reverb tank that Fender designed. It's actually a, a tube driven tank that has an actual uh, spring tray inside that, that uh, shakes around uh, when you play it louder. Uh, you can kick it, you know, do some, some really fun things with it. But today we're going to talk about digital reverb. Um, it's definitely a good on-the-budget type of thing. And um, today I'm using the Boss RV5 digital reverb pedal. So we're going to go through a few tones uh, with you today. Uh, particularly two, we're going to go with more of a classic surf sound and then something a little bit more out there, something a little bit more uh, caked on, I guess you could say. Definitely reverb can be uh, added to a dry amp to re really give an, an effect if you're playing live or you're recording or just jamming at home. Um, uh, nowadays, it depends on what amp you get, uh, most of them have built-in reverb, but at the same time you can either get a pedal to get more reverb or get a tube unit. Um, so if you definitely want uh, more added sound, uh, add a reverb to your tone. Uh, we're going to go through uh, the differences right now, just with strumming with, uh, with reverb on and reverb off. So you'll hear a big difference when you actually start listening to it. So here's a reverb on. And here it kind of gives you that sound like you're in a room. Um, but listen to it when it's off and it's completely bone dry. So it's, it's completely turning our clean amp definitely into a, into a big hall sound, as if we're playing in a big hall. Um, right now I've got my pedal set to spring, so uh, I'm going to play you an example right now so you can hear that. The spring is more of the old 60s sound. So our on-the-budget digital reverb pedal is emulating an actual spring tank. So here we go. Now we're actually going to try uh, a hook just like that, but with actually without the reverb on. So you're going to hear the difference of how dry it sounds now with it. Here we go. So definitely you can hear the difference with the dry tone compared to the reverb for that style of music. And I'm going to show you uh, kind of a crazy tone you can end up doing, uh, quite opposite of the spring reverb that you can do uh, with our uh, Boss digital uh, reverb pedal. So right now we've actually got it set to modulate and we've got it cranked pretty high so I'm going to play a little riff for you right now and then we'll play it dry so you can hear the difference. It sounds completely different so here we go. <laughs> play that exact same it's still going see so uh, it's crazy so we're actually gonna play the same hook right now but dry and you're gonna hear a completely different sounding tone so let's try that again and now we've got a tight shot of our digital reverb RV5 pedal uh, the way we're running it right now is pretty uh, simple. We're running it through uh, mono, so we're just going to run it through our bottom jacks right here. But this pedal does give you the option of running it stereo, so you can even run uh, mono in and stereo out to go to 2 amps for definitely a really cool stereo effect. Or if you have uh, true stereo effects that you're going to run before this pedal, you can still run them through here consistently. So I'm going to go through the knob settings right now. Um, for our modulated ethereal tone, uh, we've got everything cranked pretty high, so you can see our time, which is actually how long or how how big the sound is really is is, is cranked to eight or nine. Uh, our effect level is all the way up. Our our tone knob is almost like a tone knob on a guitar. The more you crank it, the more treble you're going to get. If you back it down, you're going to get more bass. And uh, a neat feature with this reverb pedal is you actually have different modes right here, so we can actually leave this uh, three settings pretty much the same and completely change our tone with this. So right here we actually have uh, a modulate tone, we've got a gate tone, a room, a hall, a plate, and a spring. So modulate's going to be uh, definitely more of a more of a heavier kind of funky tone like we were using earlier. Um, our gate actually sounds like a gate uh, turning on and off. Uh, it, it pretty much is what it says, a gate's shutting off. 
certain frequencies, so it has this real kind of swelled effect. Um, room, that room is pretty much a, uh, room and hall are going to be a standard uh, kind of reverb that you'd find on a standard uh, Fender amp of today, or a Marshall amp maybe. Uh, plate is going to be a very uh, closed in kind of sound, very thin and tinny. And um, right here at the top uh, is going to be our uh, spring reverb, so that emulates the original 65 Fender spring reverb. So um, definitely these settings are pretty universal if you do find a, a reverb pedal out on the market uh, with, with one of the one of our modes that we've got right here. Uh, it's pretty easy to emulate what I've got set up right now as long as you copy uh, the settings from the level, the tone, and the time. Now I'm going to go through the actual modes of the uh, digital RV5 pedal reverb. So let's go through that right now. We've already gone through the modulate. We've already gone through the spring. So I'm going to go through some of the ones that are in the middle. All right, so here's our gate tone. Uh, like I was saying earlier, this is something that actually has kind of a, a gate where it actually is closing off on a certain amount of frequencies. So you can hear it right now as it kind of swells. So it's actually turning on and turning off as you're plucking it. Let's try that one more time so you can hear the difference and I'll stop. Definitely kind of a weird tone, but something really cool. We're going to leave our settings the exact same, but we're just going to change our mode. So right now we're going to go to Room, which is a pretty kind of classic tone. Uh, we'll try that same hook. So it just kind of sounds like you're in a room pretty much. So in this example, you can actually hear the, the room sound off the pedal when I strum it. Pretty much the same as the gate, but it's on all the time. Uh, now I'm going to actually uh, bump us up to the hall sound. It's pretty much the same uh, as the room, but it's actually naturally just adding a longer tone into it. So we'll do that same part. The hall effect uh, for reverb is probably one of the more favored ones because you can you can actually use your level control to pretty much affect everything. So really quick, I'm going to show you an example of that. Uh, we're still on hall. Okay. Now we're just going to back our level down and give it a little bit of a cleaner tone. So definitely the hall, if you're going to pick up a delay pedal and you want more of an alternative tone, well, whether it be blues or rock or anything like that, uh, you might want to try that effect. It's very usable. And we're going to go to the, the last part of the adjustment of our modes, which is going to be the plate. Um, it's pretty much doing what our other uh, modes have been doing. It's pretty much just naturally turning everything up. So I'm going to leave our level still at 5, and you can hear the difference between our hall from last time. So right there you can hear it. just pretty much an over-exemplified uh, version of the hall. So definitely if you want to just keep using that mode knob and change everything and leave all your your other three th settings the same uh, you can go ahead and do so with the mode knob so this has been Jason Lee with nextlevelguitar.com stay tuned for all of our next previews and our YouTube samples and make sure to visit nextlevelguitar.com